Some people may say that why there should be only one God? Why can't there be many gods? If there would have been many gods, surely these gods would have fought among themselves. And we find this in the mythology of some of the religions. One god fighting with the other god. One god helping the other god to fight the third god. Can you believe in such a god who can be defeated, who can be killed? And some people say that why can't there be different god? One god for sun, one god for cloud, one god for wind. Now imagine if there was one god for each, each one having power over his own little thing. It's logical to have one god who has power of all things rather than each different, different god fighting among themselves. It's illogical. That's the reason the Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 22, that if there would have been gods besides Allah, surely there would have been confusion in the universe. It's mentioned in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 91, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not beget a son. If there were God besides Allah, each God would have taken things would have created and hold it on the other. Surely there would have been infighting amongst them. That's what we see in the mythology. The best and the most logical is only one God. One and only, all powerful. Having power over all things. That's the reason. If you read the scriptures of the major world religions, all the scriptures of the major world religions, they say that Almighty God is one. He has got no images. He is not begotten. He is one and only. Absolute and eternal. Nothing like him. And by the passage of time, many of the scriptures, almost all besides the Quran, these scriptures have changed. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 79, لُلْ لِلَّذِينَ يَخْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابِ بَيْدِهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُلُونَ هَذَا مِنْ إِنْدِ اللَّهِ لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ سَمْنًا كَلِلَا فَوَلُلْ لَمْ مِمَّا قَدْ بَتَيْدِهِمْ that woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this is from Allah to traffic with it for a miserable price. Woe to those for what they earn, woe to those for what they write. So here it's mentioned in the Quran that people write the scripture with their own hands and then say this is from Allah. So by the passage of time, all the scriptures that came before the Quran, they have been changed. And since they were not the last and final revelation, Almighty God did not think it fit to be preserved. Because those were the previous revelations. But in spite of this corruption, in spite of the manipulation, in spite of the change, yet in the remnants of all the major world religions, in their scriptures, you will find the mention of monotheism, the oneness of Almighty God, that he has got no images, he is not begotten, he is one and only, and nothing like him. So if you believe in a concept of God, it should be according to your scriptures.